I've got a battery test to do today it's on one of these it's 6 volts 2500 AA pack the low self discharge type I was asked a question a little while ago about how much current these can output to which my answer was about 2 amps uh, and the customer said oh I thought they were good for 6 so that's what I'm going to do today let's draw some current out of it without totally decimating the voltage let's take it down to what about five volts there we go straight four amps see what you can give before it just totally loses voltage seven amps at four volts oh, that's not bad but then again the voltage there will be totally unusable for a six volt pack so let's throttle that back a bit let's give it till Let's call it 5 volts. It should be usable at 5 volts. That's close enough. So 3.7 amps. I'm going to let it run for a few minutes and see what it does. That's near enough on 17 minutes and the voltage is beginning to drop. I think we'll leave it there. Turn the current off. So that's the first part of this test done. I'm going to do the same thing again now but with another battery pack. Exactly the same. 6 volt again. But I've cycled this about 4 times. Uh, charged it and discharged it this one was just new out of the box just being charged up once just to see if there's um, if you can get less volt drop for the same amount of current so I'm going to try this one so let's give this one a little bit of current ah it's a big difference. It's 5.6 amp. Let's turn it down a little bit. Do the fine adjustments on it. It's going to drop a little bit. So that gives me f that gives me five amp. So there is a difference. I know that with these um, battery packs, the capacity grows after about four or five cycles I didn't think the it would give me more current though oh, you learn something what should we do give that some give that same amount of running time and so that's at the same 17 minutes as the other pack had and it's held at 5 amps the voltage drop is about the same. Oops. Just one last look at that screen. If that can be seen. It's the best I can do. Impressive. I never thought that would hold 5 amps. I thought it would be 2 maximum. I'm going to do another test now. Different batteries. 6 volts again. This one again the same, discharged and charged four times. My other one, my one that's only been charged once, hasn't been charged once. <laughs> I've got it in the corner there charging. So once that's charged, I'll do the same with that one. So how did I forget to charge this battery? Must be this early onset thing I've heard about. I forgot what I was going to say now. <laughs> Let's hook this up. Let's just suck some life out of this and see if we can get some, some comparable figures. Let's, get, let's drop this down to five, five volts, was it? Touch. 
Ooh, the synapse. Ah, okay. So this has only been charged the once, eventually. Zero that and that's zero. So how long is that? Fifteen minutes. It's stand to drop. Fifteen fifteen and a half minutes, that's okay. Turn it off. I don't know if I mentioned at the beginning that these are just the standard nickel metal hydride ones uh, as opposed to the low self discharge ones. Okay, we'll do the test again, another pack. The one's been cycled four times. And so same thing again. Let's give it some current. Same for about the five volts. Just over five volts because this sends the drop a little bit. Five volts, six, seven amps. Okay, go. So that's on eleven minutes. Voltage is starting to drop. That'll do, I think. Six odd amps. That's fine. Let's turn that off. that's been of any use leave a comment and the kebab i'll be waiting